Hey guys, welcome back to another week of What's for Dinner. My name is Andrea with Foodimentary Adventures in Food. In my household, there's me, my husband, and our adorable one-year-old little boy. Hey guys, so on our meal plan for tonight, I had sesame chicken, and then when I looked in our freezer, I realized that we had General Tso's chicken, so I made that. I guess I made the General, I mean the sesame chicken earlier, and I don't even remember. But this is from Aldi. It's something I had in my freezer that I needed to use. We've never tried it before. And you just cook the chicken in the stove, I mean in the oven, and then you add the um, sauce in, and that's what I did. Howard and I tried it, and the chicken has a lot of breading on it. I probably would not buy it again. Um, the flavor's okay, but it's very, very bready. And then um, finishing up a box of chicken spring rolls that I had in my freezer too from Trader Joe's. We both like these, and then I just popped them in my air fryer. And that is Harrison having his dinner in the background. So anyway, this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, so for dinner tonight, I tried out a new recipe. I was going to record me making it, but Harrison was not in the mood for that at all. It is called Swiss Chicken Casserole. I'll make sure to leave the recipe in the description box, but I'll quickly tell you um, what I used. Um, boneless skinless chicken breast, Swiss cheese, you're gonna use some of this Pepperidge Farm herb seasoned stuffing and cream of chicken soup. And um, the change that I did make on the recipe was it called for milk and I used chicken broth instead. And so you just bake it and then um, I haven't tried it yet. So I'll let you guys know how it is. And that's Harrison, I told you he was in a mood. I also made some canned green beans and added onions to it. And then I also made some homemade mashed potatoes as well. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, so for dinner tonight, I am making a recipe that I have made before on our channel. It's called Tortellini Carbonara and it's one of my favorite quick and easy recipes. I will make sure to leave the original video in the description box so that you guys will have all of the ingredients. But in my skillet here, I have about seven uh, slices of bacon that I cooked and chopped up. And to that, I'm just adding some heavy whipping cream. And then I am just going to add some Parmesan cheese. And um, I have already cooked a package of this tortellini and I get it from Aldi. It's the small size, it's nine ounces and it's less than two bucks for this package. So I've already cooked that and drained that and all I'm going to do is add it to the skillet. And the recipe also calls for fresh parsley and I totally forgot to get it when I went to the store but I will say it really does make a difference in this dish. I love it with the fresh parsley, but if you don't have it, it'll be okay. It will be just fine. All right, so I've added in my pasta and I'm just going to let this simmer for a little bit and thicken up probably for about five minutes. I've got some garlic bread going in the air fryer. So I will be back as soon as everything is all ready. Okay, so here is our dinner plate. Um, like I said, this pasta is so good and so easy to make. Howard and I both love it. So I am serving it with some garlic bread and we're also having a salad with it. This is the garlic bread that I made in the air fryer. I kind of overcooked it, but it's the one that I always talk about from Tom Thumb that we absolutely love. And then also we're just having a Caesar salad with it. And here it is in the bowl. I'll serve it up a little bit in just a little bit. So anyway, this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, so for dinner tonight, we are having a meal that I have not made in a while, crock pot Swedish meatballs. And I actually did record a video several years ago, now I guess it's been, um, on how I make these um, meatballs. So I will leave the video link in the description box. This time I used chicken meatballs instead of the beef meatballs. I get these from Ikea and the last time I went, they did not have just the traditional Swedish. They just had the chicken 
but I love their meatballs because, let me flip it over, um, as you can see, they don't have a lot of stuff in there. There's not a lot of fillers, fillers, and I really like that. So anyway, this is what we are having for dinner tonight, and we'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, so we are eating from our freezer tonight. We are having Parmesan crusted fish, and of course that's Harrison in the background. I cooked it in the air fryer and here it is. And then we also had some, well one bag of sweet corn in our freezer too, and it is from Sam's. This is the final bag that I bought in a big bag from Sam's. And then we're just having some leftover mashed potatoes from the other night. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we'll see you guys next time.